All right, how y'all doing? Welcome to this hopefully interesting video on uh, a couple of things about putting and how to give you the mechanical advantage over other players and where modern putting has changed over the years to probably um, cancel out the mechanical advantage of the actual golf club or as some refer to it, weapon of choice. Now, the original um, putters of the day were blades like this. Um, this one's actually quite a uh, an old one. You can see that there, the Wilson uh, staff. It, it's got a, a kind of alignment line on the top and the back and it has some offset, forward offset. But fundamentally, the blade putter in golf has never changed. Now the blade putter requires a C arc to actually work so it's got to open on the back swing, square and go through just like your golf swing really it's on an arc and if you watch it, it it opens, then it closes and goes. And to give its full balance potential and use its mechanical advantage, you have to use an arc putting stroke. And it's very much really open to really closed. If you try and cancel that out, cancel out the mechanical actual weight of this thing, then you just end up pushing the ball, not actually stroking it. And you won't really get it on its true line. Now, obviously the angle of the shaft as well sits off, so it, it, it aims itself at, at an arc. Ideally, those in the, you know, I've always argued it should be a pure pendulum which there's no deviation, it's straight back, straight through. So basically the biggest change in golf from a blade putter was when Ping invented the uh, Ping answer. Basically that was a leap forward, but you can see it's still got forward offset on it. So the ball is, and the shaft is behind the head. Now this still requires an arc stroke for it to actually work correctly which is slightly in square and, and then not as much as the blade right. Again you've got to learn that let it open, let it come and let it go in the arc right to gain the actual mechanical advantage of this putter. We'll get back to why we're talking about this. You can see I've got three putters here. And this one is the only one that's face balanced. Odyssey 2 ball. Right? See how it face balances. Set it and the, the shaft lines up with the with the with the actual face. Now, to put well with this, it is actually more of a straight back, straight through, right? So, you will still have to have it on the tiniest of arcs, but not as much as the last two you saw, right? Because it's face balanced, like I say, even the... The blade isn't face balanced. If you let it hang, it it hangs toe down. So it sort of gives you a clue about how much um, offset you've got. Now, this one's interesting because it's not face balanced, but you can see it hangs toe down just a little, but still requires an arc to make it work. 
Why is this important? Because uh, I was trying to think about how to show you this. The reason I float between the three, uh, sometimes if the greens depends on the speed of them, um, but I've mainly always putted with a blade putter. And it's very much like your golf swing. You need to allow your hands to actually uh, move. So I'm going to cut so you can see my hands. Okay, so you can see my hands here. And the way I like to grip the club is the uh, fingers down, overlapping. And this is the blade. So it's an arc stroke. You can see there that I'm letting it open and close, open and close, right? Now, you'll see that I'm breaking my lead wrist, but as long as this re lead wrist breaks under and this one pushes it up like that, that's not like a yip or a nervy stroke. That, that, that there is a proper release of the putter head. And it's not till you allow your hands to move in such a way that frees the motion. Same on your chipping. If we have a quick look at the ping one, ping's a good example because it's got a very curved grip which is even more handy for, obviously you'll see that it requires not as much, but it still requires that going on through the ball, which is an open and then square to close stroke. Now, face balance. Also, loads of you use these grips. Um, 2.0 Super Stroke. This is quite a different brand, but same type of thing, hands on. Now, this is about the only one that requires more of a what I would call. See how, like, my elbows kind of hold in there. My hands have equal pressure, and it's more like a kind of push stroke. Right? So it's like a what you see the tour pros doing more on TV, which is this kind of thing. Right? They might, on a really long putt, give it a bit of that, but you can see that's more kind of like it breaks, but it it goes more on the up, and this goes more on the under. So, depending on what putter you're using, and you very rarely see pros using a true blade anymore. Mainly because they put in greens that are, are so fast, but to ha have a try with one and, and let it actually arc and hit it. And you'll notice that you start to see the line and you start to roll the ball a lot better. Even like your ping answer and stuff. The worst thing you can do, Scotty Cameron's as well, is try what I just showed you with the super stroke grip because it's the putter's not designed to do that. You've lost the mechanical advantage of the head. It still needs, even the ping answer, still needs to slightly open, square and then release. Um, it's a miniature uh, version of your golf swing uh, and um, that is why um, putter manufacturers have thought over the years yeah if we go like <laughs> you know the more funky they make the putter the less you'll need to manipulate the arc 
but in actual fact you're cancelling out your natural arc for something that's kind of man-made uh, keeping it square thinking that you'll pop better but basically the, there is only the three types of putter we've explained all three you've just got to try them for yourselves i've got one of each and i fluctuate between the three some days i put well with one i'll go off one go back to the blade put well with that so try it for yourself i uh, hope you've enjoyed the video channels all for charity mac millen help the heroes shelter uk so a subscribe will help the charities and help us reach a thousand subscribers thanks for watching there'll be more on the putters and putting at the range and we're going live in a couple of days time as well